Today is 30th April 2020 and I am taking class 2 English 2. Okay. So in our previous classes, we have already finished lesson 1. Now we are going to start with lesson 2. Right. Lesson 2 is uh, countable noun and uncountable noun. Right. So in the previous one, we have studied what? Common noun and proper noun. Right. There are various kind of noun. Right. So we have studied common noun and proper noun. Today, we will study countable noun and uncountable noun, right? So, countable meaning what? Which we can count, right? Uncountable, which we can count one by one, right? Okay? So, countable and uncountable, right? So, noun means what? Noun meaning name, right? Name of anything, okay? And countable noun means name of anything that we can count, okay? And uncountable noun that we cannot count. Okay, a noun which we cannot count. Okay. Countable and uncountable. Alright. So, countable meaning what? Which we can count. So, the word count is there. Right? Count which we can count. And uncountable. Un which we cannot count. For example, say boy, right? Boy, cup, okay? We can count that one by one, right? Okay, so boy and cup, this type of name, they will be what? They will be countable on. And uncountable that we cannot count, right? Rice. Rice we cannot count one by one. We count it like what? Kgs, right? We count it like kgs, but we don't count one rice, two rice like that, right? So, we count it as a whole, right? So, that's why rice is a what? Uncountable noun. Then we have wheat. Wheat also, we can't count one by one, can we? No, we count it as together, as a group, as a whole, right? Kg is right? That's why wheat is also a countable noun. Then oil, oil we can't count one by one because oil is liquid, right? So we can't count it one by one. We count it as liters and all, right? So this kind of name, right? They are what? They are uncountable noun, right? Noun meaning name, countable counting, uncountable not counting, right? So this is what? Countable and uncountable, all right? So in page 11, there are some examples, right? You can see number one, right? Uh, for example, boy, cup, pencil, these things that we can count. Then there is number two, uncountable noun examples, right? Rice, wheat, wood, clothes. Clothes we can count. We can count, right? Then at the below there is a box, right? So uncountable, uncountable noun, basically they are what? Food. Food products, right? That we can't count single, single thing, right? Like meat. Right, there is no, uh, to say, meat is as a whole, right? We can't count as, uh, to say, one, one like that. Then we have sports, right? Sports like cricket, tennis, we can say one cricket, two cricket, right? Cricket is a game name, right? That's why cricket is uncountable noun, any kind of game. Then word related to weather, right? Thunder, lightning, snow. Snow we can't count here one by one. Rain, we can't count droplet. Things that we can't count. Right, or there are too much to count. Those things are what? Uncountable noun. Then we have commonly used words, right? Just like homework. We can't count homework, right? Then gold, hair, hair in our head, right? Because it's too much, one by one, it is impossible to count one by one, right? So that's why these kind of words are what? They are uncountable noun, right? Then turn to page 12. So here we have what? Some sentences. Right? And we have to underline countable and uncountable nouns from this sentence. Right? After underlining, which one is uh, below there is a box this way. So, from here, which one is countable after underlining, we have to write in the countable box. Which is not uncountable, we have to write in uncountable box. Okay? Right. So, C number one. The table and chairs... In the room are made of wood. So, table and chairs 
right we can count and would we cannot count so these three words are countable and uncountable right then we have the i have many story books story books we can count right then my father wants me to drink milk milk we cannot count liquid thing is uncountable always uncountable okay then i went to the shop to buy some sugar and wheat sugar and wheat is an uncountable noun right my brothers love playing in the snow snow is uncountable right i had toast and butter for breakfast so food products they are always uncountable many children children is countable right because children child means one child children means many when we say children that means many kids when we say child c h i l d that means only one person okay so children will be countable and thunder thunder will be uncountable okay little girl that is countable right girl we can count then homework we cannot count so that will be uncountable we have lot of furniture right furniture we cannot count bought a new spoons cups plates and mats they are all countable nouns all right then you all have to do what write in the box Uncountable, right? Spoons, 
cups, mats, and plates, right? So these all come under countable noun, right? So write this down in this box. All of you read it properly. All right. sentences that you will write in one number right because sentence number one it's here right so first number table chair room that is one number right so this is one number sentence and in that sentence we found wood so this is one all right one number sentence so number two sentence whatever you have underlined you have to write in these boxes okay two number boxes and three number sentences you have to write in third number box in here okay so this way you all finish it up Right? So, next comes that some things that we cannot count. Right? One, we don't say one sugar, two sugar, or we don't say one hair, two hair. Right? We don't say one wheat, two wheat like that. There are some things we cannot count. Right? So, we have some special names to them. Right? Like, a bottle of oil, okay, then a cup of tea, we don't say one tea, right, As we say a cup of tea, then three sacks of rice, we don't say, we, ca we don't count how many rice there are in one set, right, 300 rice, we don't say that, what do we say, we say three sacks of rice, okay, then we have two glasses of water, we don't say one water or two water, we say two glasses of water, right, because they can't be counted, right, so, which things that we cannot count, they are uncountable nouns and since we can't count them, so we have special names, right, to count them, right. One bottle of ink, right, a cup of tea, okay, sack of rice, yes. So, there are, in number B, we have, in one side, we have those names, in other side, we have name of the things, okay. So, we have to do what? We have to match both, alright. That is page 13, B number. Okay. So, so this is column A, this is column B. Number one is given a drop of Pinch of and a glass of not a sack. So, a drop of, that is what? Ink. A drop of will be ink. Right. Then a bar of. So, salt is not a bar. Rice is not a bar. Soap. Right. We call soap bar also. Right. So, a bar of soap. Okay. Then we have a pinch of salt. Right. A pinch of salt. Pinch means little bit. Okay. A pinch of salt. Then we have a glass of soap. Liquid food product. They will, uh, uh, if there is a glass of, then you match it with, with liquid food product, right? So, a glass of juice, okay? Then, a sack of rice. Sack means basta. We say basta, right? Bag. It's a bag. So, a sack of rice. Bag of rice, okay? So, that's how we match it, okay? Number B. So, then number C, we have what? So, in here, we have what? 
There are some names. Number C below, right? C number. There are some names. Apples, oil, rice, pepper, tomatoes, honey, bananas, cakes, water, eggs, paper, coconuts, burger, juice, milk, carrots, butter, pineapples, right? So here you have to find out which one is countable and which one is uncountable, right? So countable you have to color it yellow and uncountable, right? Blue, right? Apples. S is there, plural form, meaning we can count. That's why apples is a countable, right? So it's colored yellow. Then oil. Oil is liquid, right? What did I say? All liquid products are uncountable, right? That's why oil is an uncountable now, right? That's why oil is colored blue. That way you find out from here, this is a homework, which one is countable and which one is uncountable and color them, okay? Color the countable yellow and the uncountable blue, alright?